So we're going to tie a uh, woven nymph. Now these can be tied in a lot of different shapes, colors, sizes. This one here is a size 10. I'm going to use embroidery floss. That's my favorite material. It's cheap. Um, this stuff's kind of a darker tan. It's kind of a, one of the brighter colors of floss. So we're going to use two colors, dark on the top, a lighter on the bottom. So the key to this fly is when you tie these uh, flosses in, make sure you tie them on the sides. So when we'll, and I'll explain that when we get to the weaving part. The next one I'm going to tie is going to be just a, um, it's a white, but it's got some flashy colors in it. So we're going to tie this one on the next, the next side over. This particular one, I've got three strands of each. Um, you'll have to kind of play with how you like the sizings of these. Um, three works pretty good for this size. Um, for a rib, I like to just use a basic piece of tippet. This one's a 4X, 3X, doesn't really matter. I'll tie that right in on the top. We're going to bring it down. Okay, and after that's top, those three things are tied in, that's all we're using on this fly. Just make sure you get a nice taper. I'm using 6 aught thread to kind of help build it up so it kind of doesn't take you all day. I'll just do a couple of half hitches, cut it off. Now we're going to try, I'm going to turn this thing upside down get this um, get this uh, tip it out of the way so here we go I'm gonna take these and gonna kind of just twist them in my finger to kind of make them more of a rope now to do this it's pretty simple it takes a little practice but it's a pretty simple concept so I'm gonna take the lighter color you're gonna go underneath I'm gonna take the darker color go around the top repeat it light color underneath dark color under you're just going to keep working this all the way. Make sure the the dark color gets snug against the back. It's kind of hard. You don't see it, so it takes a little practice just to make sure it stays tight against the previous wrap. We're just going to work that up. These flies are good. They're 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 durable. They make these good-looking abdomens. Some of the bigger some of the you know some of the bigger fish I've caught has been on this has been on this fly. Whoa, that one a little weird. So now that you got that done, I'm going to hold on to this. Don't let go of this. It'll be a disaster. I'm going to flip it back around. I'm going to grab a darker thread. I'm going to grab a dark brown. Kind of hold the end in there. Grab it. Catch those fibers. Or catch your embroidery floss. One good wrap on the front. And you're good to cut this stuff off. There's a lot of fibers there, so I'm getting it cut off just like that. That wasn't that fun. Now let's hope that I can get this tied on before it uh, falls apart. That's not the best way to do it. I would prefer just to leave that thread you know attached. There we go. <laughs> wow that was fun. Whoa look I got lucky. Look at that. No, no harm done. Just took, takes me a couple extra seconds. We gotta clip that off. Just gonna throw a quick little half hitch in here to hold it in. I'm gonna bring my little bobbin around. Now this is where the rotary vise comes in handy. I'm gonna take this rib and see all the in between all the material. There's these little notches in this, is which makes this body look really cool. But the rib I'm going to go put right in between each one of these little joint, little junctions, joints, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to work it all the way up. This is mainly just for durability. It's for no other reason than to make sure this embroidery floss stays attached and good so you can catch a lot of fish with this. Okay, get that out of the way. We're almost done with this fly. It's a simple fly. Um, this is one of my favorite colors I like. For the little, I'm just going to use a little bit of SLF squirrel dubbing. I'm going to put it on the thread. I'm going to leave it pretty loose on the thread. I'm going to work here um, pretty loose so it kind of, you know, as, as the fish start biting this, eating it every few minutes, it's hard to keep the fish off this thing. I'm going to bring it up. It kind of just gets it and fills that fly in and gives it a little bit of a bushy look. Pull that back. I'm going to grab my whip finish tool. I'm going to do a couple of whip finishes. 
Um, another thing you can do here, another variation you can do is uh, do this fly, but do a little, I've done it where I do a little hot spot here on the front, do a little thread hot spot or, um, you know, another dubbing. You can even do a flashy dubbing with some other stuff. So there's a lot of different cool variations you can do with this fly. Uh, tie some up and try to keep the fish off them. It's hard.